Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, has had enough. No, 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 don't misunderstand. Donald Trump is on the warpath against Sessions again. Another tweet today with the, the, the last word in Trump's tweet, in all caps, disgraceful. And it has to do with Trump's unhappiness with the way Sessions has chosen to investigate What's going on at the FISA court? As you know, the Trump dossier was used to grant, to get a warrant from the FISA court to essentially spy on Carter Page. And that was then used to, uh, in an ancillary way, to spy on Trump and his campaign. And the controversy has intensified and Trump is frustrated that there isn't any investigation. How can this happen? Who, did did the, the FISA judge know or did he not know? Did the, did the lawyers from the DOJ and the FBI agents who applied for the warrant, did they lie to the judge? Did they, were they forthcoming? Did they tell the FISA court that it was a Hillary Clinton political document, not an intelligence document? Did they tell the judge that Hillary Clinton bought and paid for the thing? Did they tell the judge that Fusion GPS commissioned an out-of-work British spy to go write this thing? Did they tell the FISA court any of that? Trump wants to know. We all want to know. And if they didn't tell the FISA court, then how the hell did the... What do we do next? How do we rectify this? If they did tell the FISA court and the judge knew this and still granted the warrant to spy, then and, and, and Trump thinks that his attorney general ought to be trying to get to the bottom of this. So, so Sessions has said that this will be investigated by the inspector general, whose name is Michael Horowitz. He's an Obama appointee, but this guy has been doing really great work up to now in exposing. I mean, we know a lot. We know about the struck stroke Lisa Page texts because of the inspector general. There's been a year long investigation of uh, aspects of this by the inspector general, and he's been reporting elements of what he's learned over time. Trump doesn't want this to be an IG. He wants something faster. He said, the inspector general, it's going to take years. And he's, he's wondering why his own attorney general is not acting with more haste and trying to get to the bottom of this. Well, apparently, and I haven't seen it yet, but for the first time, Sessions has responded to one of these tweets by Trump and is pushing back on it. Now, I haven't seen it. I'm just seeing CNN alluding to it. But I'll do my best to uncover it and find it in uh, in a short period of time. I'm here. I'm here just waiting for the lickety split printer to spit something out. And it finally did. Greetings and welcome back. We're here. The EIB Network and the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. 800-282-2882 if you want to be on the program. By the way, the um, I want to make sure I still have it up here. If uh, Here, Jeff Sessions is said to be pushing back on Trump. I want to read Sessions' statement, and you tell me if that's what you think this is. It's not a tweet. I don't think Sessions tweets. It's a statement of some kind. And it, it doesn't mention Trump or his tweet, but this is this is what the drive bys are saying is Sessions pushing back. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. We have initiated the appropriate process that will ensure complaints against this department will be fully and fairly acted upon if necessary. As long as I am the Attorney General, I will continue to discharge my duties with integrity and honor, and this department will continue to do its work in a fair and impartial manner according to the law and the Constitution. That's, you think that's, that's a heck yes, that's a, that's, okay, well that's it, that's Sessions' pushback on, uh, on, on Trump. 